What's up, everybody? I'm Andy Orlando with Rockstar Garage and Project Overkill. Welcome to SEMA 2022. I'm here with my buddy Bill Adair, One Bad LJ. Let's go check out the show. Behind me here, we got Gridlock, got the new 44 inch Baja Bosses on there. And, and the Dirty Life. And the new 20 inch Dirty Life bead locks. Well, he, he definitely doesn't clean it, that's for sure. <laughs> but he does use it. <laughs> If it was me, I would kind of get in here and detail some of these little areas a lot better than what it is. But hey, look what's on the other side over here. Ah, we got the this, rock buggy. We got the rock buggy. My buddy Jared Crawford built this whole thing in his shed. <laughs> made it to Mickey right. Thompson's area So here. we're in the Mickey Thompson booth and we have the Batmobile, which happens to be on Mickey Thompson tires. Yeah, which I find super cool that we actually got the Batmobile, the legit Batmobile here this year. Man, I gotta tell you, celebrating 60 years for Mickey Thompson, no better way to do it than in the Batmobile. So we're here in the Mickey Thompson booth and we're looking at the new Baja Boss 44 which I'm super excited about. I'm Right now I'm running the Baja Pro X's in a 43, but I want a little bit of extra height, so I'm ready for these to come out. And um, a little bit narrower too. They, they are, are a little, little bit narrower. narrower. So, it's, so it's more similar to a tire that I'm used to running. So a little taller, a little narrower, looking forward to that. Definitely a thing that I know everyone has been stoked for and been waiting for for a long time, to have the 42 and the 44. Yeah, so, so this side, we actually have the new sizes that are gonna be, I believe, late first quarter, early second quarter. But we have the new 42, 13, 50, 20, and in a 17. A lot of the 22s now come in a 20, but now we have the option too for a 17 as well. I would definitely love to put a set of these on Chaos over there. I love my stickies. I heard stickies might be coming, I don't know, but might go to some 42s. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, the welder up. I told you, there was those guys on that TV show. Yeah. That looks old and antique, just like your Jeep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, literally. But they, it, it looks old, but it's clean. Yeah. Yours is as old and dirty. Old and dirty, yeah. Hey, you think you could take care of this? <laughs> what, have you, what have you been doing? Collecting yeah, metal dust, putting it in there so the rust? It's patina, I did that on purpose. It's a natural patina. Don't tell me that didn't take time. It's got nitrous. It does. Explosive. It's got nitrous. Oh, oh supers. Oh, oh, look at the supers. I mean, every time you see a super, you got to stop. Look at that. Whoa. Look. <laughs> Imports are a little bit out of my realm of knowledge. They I don't know. They are I don't, way know, out of my I don't realm. know what they run for engines. I know they're faster. It said the 10 seconds, 10 second twins. 10 second quarter? 620 horsepower in this little car. Single turbo three liter. It's just like That's... my riding mower. That's about what my riding mower is like. It is.
right across from the Mickey Thompson booth, we have my Jeep. She got a little fresh up. She, she's getting a little abused, so now it's time for a little fresh up. She got new spring rates on the front. Everything got cleaned up and painted and cleared. And uh, the best addition is we have a brand new tub on this thing. I was gonna build a roll cage for it. Took the stock cage off and realized that there's no floor. We had to get a new tub for this thing. We ended up Patriot lining the entire tub, inside, outside, underneath. Basically the only spot that's not Patriot line is where the Patriot liner logo actually is. And uh, got some new PRP seats in it. Got some of the uh, comp elites in here. Ready for another uh, three, four years of abuse. So Ari got a little, little fresh up too. So basically looks exactly the same as before. We ended up changing new springs on hers. Uh, to ride a little bit better. So we have Artex new coil relocation brackets in the rear and actually went through and powder coated everything. So this thing is pristine now. So I like this rig a lot. She does a lot of stuff that people in bigger rigs wouldn't do. Um, and she's getting a whole lot more comfortable as I've known her. And I think it's a super cool rig. She still owes me a drive, by the way. <laughs> All right, so this one is USPS LJ. This one belongs to Diana Adair. So Bill built this one. It's pretty much a mirror image of Bill's Jeep, <laughs> except for, well, I guess that would be a mirror image because it's right-hand drive. Yeah, over here we have Josh's uh, from Patriot Liner. Their Hummer that they did, which is really cool, has, of course, the entire outside is Patriot lined. The cool thing is that with the Patriot liner, it actually seals everything inside. So as soon as you have a nice base underneath it, as soon as you put the Patriot liner on it, it seals it all in, make sure it keeps it protected from the elements as well. So if you're in an area like us with salt and stuff, it uh, keeps it to where it doesn't rust through anymore. And it's just another thicker layer on top. It's a Jeep. I know, look at this smart car over here. Yeah. <laughs> that, that thing's pretty cool. <laughs> he actually says he Lincoln locked the rear end in it. Did he? Yes. Oh my God. I brought my 86 CJ7, did a little bit of freshening up, nothing like a new tub. Yeah, so it's 86 CJ7, got a Chevy 350 in it, Dana 300, Dana 60s. We've been doing some minor things here and there, like cutting some extra stuff off the cage and new power steering cooler, rerouting some lines, some minor things that we just uh, want to tighten up basically. So yeah, this is mine and it has two gallons of armor all per tire. Yeah. They've never been shinier and I don't use ramps to get on my trailer, so I hope I can get this thing home. <laughs> I'm really interested in the fact that there's a ton of super lifted trucks. Like I, I knew that that was a niche in the automotive market, but I had no idea how popular it was. Everywhere. So it's everywhere this year. Yeah, like Trey said, this whole lineup over the bridge is all just lifted it's all trucks. all just super so. jack trucks. Okay, so... Got to, I already got to say, I love the colors. The colors so. are good. The axles look small to me for that size of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we think of it as like needing it for wheeling and stuff. This is for like the road, man. You're not gonna take this wheeling. We might still, but <laughs> if it rains, I know where I'm going. <laughs> I gotta appreciate whenever people do fat work oh, like I this. Mean, the, it's nice work, that that's for sure. Tank too? Not my cup of tea, but it is Even definitely nice work. Even the gas tank is chrome, yeah. man, look at that. You can definitely appreciate it. Yeah, it's super cool. What about some people's way? That's more my style. That's, that's more my. That's more my style. 
Yeah, you don't even know what that is. No, I don't like it though. You don't know what that is. That's a ton of freaking work. What engine do you reckon that is? Look at this. Look at that. Look at those welds. A lot more work in a car. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. When you get into all the suspension work on a car, it's right here. Yeah, Jeeps are like. Yeah, I feel like with Jeeps, you know, if we everywhere. need to do longer arms, bigger lifts, I feel like we've got, we can always make Jeeps bigger. We can expand the space we have to work with here. You're, you've, you're you've stuck. Got, you've you've you're got stuck what, with you, what got. you got. Yeah. But it takes a, a, a real artist to fit everything and make it nice and neat and complete. Alex and I both freshened up our Jeeps for SEMA, and Nick did not. <laughs> Now what is this? There's no paint on here. There's no tire shine on these tires. There's, there's only dirt. <laughs> Nick is on the new 44s, Baja Boss 44s, and we also have Rock Buggy over there that's also on the new 44s. And if we look at the wheels, the new Dirty Life Canyons in our arm in a 20 inch. I want to make a point that this thing has 63 inches of articulation, which is mind blowing. It's got East Coast gear, 14 um, bolts. 14 bolts, steering 14 bolts, front and rear, with the Super Duty at yep. Kingpin Outers. It's got a Gen 4 LT1, an Atlas. All the goodies, yeah, man. Yeah, all the good stuff. All the goodies we all want. You can actually see the line where the roof can be pulled off, kind of like a hard top on a Jeep, and you can go open top on it. So it's got the Patriot liner all over the whole thing, PRP seats in the Gata in the gate <laughs> got the gate on it on the new 42 inch baja boss we have cameron's jeep turmoil which is a full genrite suspension four-door jku has some prp seats in it has a pretty nice and rowdy 6.4 hemi in it he's got all the accessories here of course got to have the power tank has all the scotch mounts in it and if you look on the inside it's all patriot line keeping it protected super cool jeep nicely done Ready to get rowdy. So when you pull in a drive through you get out, you put a chair in the back, you got a spot and set your hamburgers. Yeah. Where's, hey, look. I bet they got some, Amer I bet they got some American stuff look, over right there. right here. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, they this got is great. more my style. That look can be that. your style. That's the Grand National style. is definitely my style. These, these are all my style. The Grand National is definitely my style. Oh, God. Look so at that my thing. first car, the first car I ever had at 15 years old, was a 1980 Buick Regal T-Type. It was basically the poor man's version of the Grand National. And I absolutely love that car. And you had all the great turbo cars back then. You had the Grand National, the Typhoon, the Cyclone. GM was killing it with the little six cylinder turbo cars. Back yeah, then. they blew them up all the time. They couldn't handle it. They the screamed, horse. they oh, screamed, yeah. man. God, they, they screamed. I, I mean, that is clean, clean. I like how they kept the interior. Totally stock. I mean, it's just clean. Yeah. It's no fancy stuff in there. Yeah, it's they didn't change clean. the interior. It doesn't look like they changed the dash or any. No, it's original dash and everything. Yeah. They didn't change a thing on that. It's got a little hints of things, but it's clean. It's a nice, clean yeah. look. Triangle vent windows were the best. I don't know why we ever got rid of them. You can't flip a, a, one of those little uh, vape pins out that thing. There are no well, ashes. Yeah, that's true. I don't think that one's it. I don't think this one's new right here. No, no, the one back this there. This one here looks a little bit older. No, 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 no. Hey, wait, walk over here. What are we going to see? Yeah. 1,500 horsepower. 1,500 horsepower. You know hey, what I'm doing with it? You know, know what I'm doing? I'm buying two. This is going in one bad LJ and the USPS. Yeah. Just left the Rockstar booth at Central Hall. Gonna try and get to all the off-road stuff on West Hall. 
And what better way to do that than with the Tesla tunnel? I've never rode on that, Trey. I don't yeah. think you've ever been on that. I haven't ridden on it. I think it's been around for a couple years. They keep expanding it, but yeah, let's check it out. Where are we going? Oh, to West. That one, spaces yes. one through seven. Wait, let's go there. I think I can count that high. Well, you only have to count to one. Hello, good sir. How are you? Has anyone done, has anyone ran into any of the walls? Oh. Dang. Will they get fired? Yes. You never well, know. Well, thank you for this wonderful journey. Yes, this has been fantastic. How do you open these doors? Hey. What? What do you call this thing? Huh? What's the name of this? It's a Lamborghini. What tires are on that? Thing? That's all. Oh, those are them's Mickey's. Them's the Mickey's. Is this the same car they ran last year? I think this will be the third year for this one. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, Russian, isn't it? The machine. <laughs> Is that Russian? The machine. Oh, it's, it's Italian. Italian, yeah. Uh, it's pretty nice in here. Yeah. Yeah, it is. This walking stick is nice. It's got good grip. It's got um, Line X on it. No. Line X. Oh, no. Patriot Liner. Patriot, Patriot Liner, liner on, on the walking stick, sorry. Oh, that's sharp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This car is probably worth at least 15 grand. 15 grand all day long. I mean, it's cool. I don't think I would have messed with a classic vet, though. A lot of people do, though, man. The car's too far gone, they just might as well just go yeah. ahead and do it. But it's a very slick, clean build. So did you get your SEMA gear? I didn't yet, actually. I was gonna get some <laughs> later on. But they might sell out. I know, I know. Living in Michigan, Greg Henderson lives really close to us and he has been building this. Where'd you go, Trey? <laughs> <laughs> he has been building this beautiful Jeep over here. So this actually started out as a four-door JL 4XE and he converted it into a two-door Gladiator, basically. 4XE Gladiator. 4XE Gladiator. That's super cool. And he did, Greg is very awesome and very particular of what he does, including shaping all these body lines and yeah. And is this a this gladiator is, bed? Yes. And you know what the best part is? Look at that beautiful badge over there. Oh, hey, it's look. actually protected by Patriot Liner. Greg did a fantastic job on this Jeep. Hey, so we found the Randy's Worldwide booth. Obviously, that one of their brands is Yukon, and we all love Yukon. Yeah, I've, I've loved my stuff. I uh, actually had faulty lockers before with different companies. Not going to say who but uh, changed over to a zip in the front and a Grizzly in the rear, and I've had no issue ever since. And uh, I mean, you've seen my wheeling style. I really don't even know where to begin with this thing. Oh, I do. I really don't. I do. <laughs> they drank both of these before they decided to build this. It's fast and furious. Yeah. So we're headed to the Overland Experience. Ooh. Can you get in one of the tents? Um, you can, yeah. I mean, there's that whole group of people that are all about van life. Yes. So I feel like if you're gonna be van life, this is the way to do it. 
Yeah, no, I always love these like four wheel drive vans or these people that like convert the front to make it solid axle on stuff. It just looks cool. I find it cool. You I mean, could literally take it anywhere you want. I mean, this Let's is- some dirty lives. Oh, those are the 20s? They are. They are the 20s. They are the 20s. Look at that. Brand new set of wheels. Brand new. Got so, I mean, this is basically like as much square footage as a tiny house, but it's on wheels. Now, now that's kind of more my alley. The bougie mobile there with a Scout on it. That looks really cool. This is another one that would be a cool tow rig. Yeah, I would totally rock one of these. This is uh, close to what I did on my on our 36 hour drive to Vegas. That is super cool. So you guys just rotated. Yeah, that's how we Driving. got here. Nice. So not quick, but that's how we got here. <laughs> Let's look at this for a second. Hang on. Okay. We're, I'm hanging. Look Wait, at the what? body. Yeah. It's bigger than a JL or a Gladiator. It is. It's not. It's like a Super Duty Gladiator. Like a Cummins. JL stops here. This is like. Well, and it's got a Cummins in it. Two feet longer, two feet wider, two feet taller, and it's got a Cummins in it. And it has a Cummins in it, running 43 inch Mickey. Yeah. Baja With Pro some Mickey, uh, wheels on here too. Look at this grill, bro. <laughs> Okay, this is definitely different. I really like this bed though. I love yeah. when people do something like that. They utilize yeah. the space that's there. That's just empty dead space. Well, and this like takes the Ram boxes that I have on my truck and like kicks it, it up a notch. It. Yeah. yeah. I'm old. All right, so I was in high school in the 90s and mini trucks and dancing beds and stuff were a thing and it was kind of cool. So it's neat to see them again. Okay, okay. That's a Mazda B2600. This was actually one of the ones that was very popular as a mini truck in like the 80s and the 90s. Did you have one of these too or no? I did not. <laughs> so I was more into the tuner stuff than the mini trucks, but I had a lot of friends and friends with mini trucks. Okay, okay. Look at this steering wheel. What? That's so cool. Do you want one of those? I do. Oh. So have you ever seen them work these? I have seen a little bit, and I've seen them just literally bounce and roll everywhere. Yeah, and it's kind of cool. Because this one, not only does it like dance and whatnot, but it also spins. Rotates. Yeah. It also spins. This one's got it all. Yeah. I actually follow this guy on Instagram too. Oh, you follow this yes. guy on Instagram? And I have seen him build this from day one. Okay. And just seeing the amount of detail he has done is insane. So this one, I mean, even the frame is done. The body is like flawless. This is probably the coolest super jacked up truck that I've seen here. So uh, we're getting close to our last car today, but I've been dying to see this thing up close. It's a golf cart. It's a beautiful golf cart. On Mickey Thompson's. Is it? Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> Just the little axles chromed out. Yeah. Like everything is chromed out. I mean, if you're gonna golf, you might as well do it in style. How'd you like uh, SEMA so far, Trey? Uh, SEMA's been pretty cool. There's a ton of cool stuff to see. Off-road, overlanding. I mean, uh, there, everything's here. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. So, thanks for joining us at SEMA.
Is this your first time seeing it? Both of ours. Oh, it's both your first time seeing it. Yeah. Excellent, cool. Well, I'm not gonna say it. I'm, this is my 18th year. Both founded <laughs> it. Can I trouble us for a bathroom break? Can we go to the bathroom, please? Here we go. Here we got the, the SEMA urinals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of clean. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> they got good pucks in the bottom of them. <laughs> Are you going with me? I said I'm going to go with them and help them. You go that yeah, way. yeah. Hey, Bill, that's the women's room. That's the women's room. <laughs>